NBC 5's Nasita Kwan is now with reaction from Chicago's Muslim community on today's tragic events. Nasita? Allison, we talked to some Muslims who say the twin reactions of horror and grief are really deeply human. And those who commit such acts are not Muslims, but opportunists created by wars and failed states in the Middle East. Friday prayers at the downtown Islamic Center. And the tragedies in France brought a call for compassion from the visiting imam. It's not only the pain and suffering which we share, but also we are also edgy because now Islam and Muslims are also on the trial. So we are actually also the victims of the tragedy uh, in a much deeper way than another person is. Like so many Muslims around the world and here in Chicago, Imam Inam Haq says terrorism has nothing to do with Islam. There can be no greater disrespect that you commit murder in the name of Prophet. Amongst the regular worshippers, Ahmed Rahab, who heads the Chicago Council for American Islamic Relations. This is a heinous, hideous crime. Um, that was unnecessary as, as much as the cartoons were offensive. Rahab notes there's already been a backlash yeah, against the mosques in France, and it's a predictable and horrible cycle of violence. An action by Muslim extremists, you may have a response um, in an increase of Islamophobia, which provokes extremism, which then provokes Islamophobia, and the cycle keeps going on and on and on. He yes. believes many more people live in between those two violent worldviews and suggests now is the time leaders should say that real effort be applied to staying in that middle. We may not be able to sway uh, the far extremes, but let's at least not lose ourselves to their message and to their worldview. Rahab referred to a bus billboard campaign. Statements like, my jihad is to get fit. He says that helps people understand that jihad really means the human struggle against barriers or odds. Rob? Important story. Thanks, Nasita.